Tonight, a Warren County teen's suicide is gaining nationwide attention. It's stirring a movement of sorts with some now demanding greater acceptance of transgenders. Joshua Alcorn was born a boy but wrote in her suicide note that she was a female and wanted to be referred to as Leela. The 17-year-old blamed her death on her parents' failure to accept her gender identity and sexuality. Nine on Your Side's Jason Law spoke to her family and friends about Leela's devastating suicide note. Jason? As a rule, we generally do not cover suicides unless there are mitigating factors, like if the suicide was in a public place or the result of bullying or discrimination. According to Leela's suicide note posted on the blog website Tumblr, she ended her life because she couldn't gain acceptance from her own family. 17 years ago, Joshua Alcorn's birth certificate listed her as a boy. But her suicide note says she knew she was a girl from a very young age. She wanted to be known as Leela. One day he finally posted on Facebook that, like, hey, I'm, I'm coming out, you know, like, this is me, this is who I am. And everybody was like, yeah, man, that's great. Came to school, and everybody gave him massive support. Chris Davis grew up next door to Leela. He says his friend didn't have problems at school. The problems were at home. I hate the fact that he had to live in a home that didn't support him. And that's just unfair. In a Tumblr blog posted hours after her suicide, Leela blasts her parents' lack of support. She wrote, The only way I will rest in peace is if one day transgender people aren't treated the way I was. They're treated like humans with valid feelings and human rights. Gender needs to be taught about in schools. The earlier the better. My death needs to mean something. Occasionally he'd tell me like, oh, I feel like I'm something else or I'm someone else and wouldn't go too far with it. You know, I feel like it was something, it was really personal to him. Nine on Your Side spoke with Leela's mother briefly at their home. She said she didn't want to talk to us for the story. But the conversation is growing within the transgender community. Vicki is with the Cincinnati support group Crossport. Regardless of how bleak it is and how bleak it looks, there is always, always a brightness at the end of that long, long dark tunnel. I really wish that I could have been there for him. You know, more often I wish I could have been, I feel like a pretty bad friend. Well, tonight Leela's former high school, uh, King's High School, will hold a moment of silence for Alcorn before tonight's basketball game tonight at 730. All right, Jason, thank you.